Hey, what's going on, ninjas? It's Super Ninja 2000 here for part 46 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, I made this long journey over here to the edge of the world to find a shrine. And I died in it, so I'm back out here. Still close to the edge of the world. All this trying to find a tower, which I still haven't found. Probably because I'm looking in the wrong area. So sick of you, style moblins. Okay, what's after me now? Is there a wolf after me? Okay, well, there's a monster hideout over here. And I swear if I don't find a tower soon... Really hope I do. Jeez, more of these guys. Another chest. Alright, let's see what we got. Yep. What's in here? A nice bow, which I can't even carry. Okay, I have one weak bow. I already have a duplex bow, I don't need a second one. Knight's bows are stronger. Except I don't have any arrows. Ha! Yes! I found it! A tower! Let's go for it! I was looking in the wrong area. It's even visible from the tower I already activated. Oh, I do not want to glide when I'm almost out of stamina. Okay, let's get my. Or let's wait for the temperature to get warmer, then I'll re equip the champion's tunic. So close to it all along. Link says no to style moblins. Alright, let's go activate this tower, which I searched all last episode for. Get the frick out of here! That was so easy.
All right, let's go over this tower. And I'm running out of weapons, so I might have to go searching for some soon. Holy crap, this tower. Okay, I see what to do. I'm gonna climb up here, then use Ravali's Gale to get some wind. Then try to fly, because there's no way you can climb that from the bottom. I'm pretty sure even with max stamina, you could not climb that whole thing. I'm not even sure that how far down that goes. Ugh. I need to recover health. Because these electric keys won't leave me alone. Excuse me. Oh, I'm running out of stamina already. Yep, I'm not gonna make it. I gotta drop down. I'll use one Revolve's Gale just to get up here. Crap, that did go up a lot longer than I thought it did. Now let's use Revolve's Gale to get some more wind. Is that a bottom loss? I think it might be. Alright, Gerudo Tower. We're pretty much at the top already. Alright, let's activate this tower. Okay, so I guess I'll go for my next heart container now. So I just had a Kakariko village, and then I guess I'll go for the Master Sword. Because I think you need about 12 hearts to get the Master Sword, which I've said in previous videos. And I have enough spirit orbs for another heart container. So why not go for it?
Alright, here we are, Kakaruka Village. It's raining. Heart container. Let's head to Woodland Tower. So we can head to the Lost Woods. Because the Master Sword is in that area. Yeah, that's Hyrule Castle down there. I'm looking for the forest. Yeah, the forest is behind me. Okay. I think, yeah, I think we're actually pretty close to Death Mountain right now. Okay, that's the Lost Woods over there. So yeah, let's go to the Lost Woods. We're not in the Lost Woods yet, if it's not obvious. Okay, I think the Lost Woods entrance is right around here. Yeah, it was right here. This is the Lost Woods. Lost Woods. I think you just have to follow the torches, okay. Running out of weapons, too. So we have to find some more. And if you do get lost here, I think you just get sent back to the beginning. <clears throat> or in a previous video, I accidentally glided here, and I just got sent back to where I was before. If it starts to get all white around you, then just start running backward. Just start running back. Because if it starts going white around you, it means you're about to get lost. Okay, I think this is a checkpoint. Okay, just looking around here. Okay, yeah, right there. If it starts to go white, run back before you get warped back. Because if you stay there for too long and it starts going white, then you will get warped back. Something in this tree. Let's see what's in here. 
Forest Dweller Spear, alright. Anything helps since I'm low on weapons. Not sure if you have to follow the normal trees or not. I think that is what you have to do. Follow the normal trees at this point. Do here, run back before you get worked back. Right, is there another normal tree in the distance? I don't see one. Okay, here's the torches right over here. Let's see if there's any on this side. Okay, going over there gets me lost. Good, good to know. over here. Okay, here's a normal tree. There's one over here. Then over here. Okay, I'm looking around now. For anything else. I see one normal looking tree over here. Okay. I think we're starting to get somewhere. I was getting lost for a second. Shrine sensor is going off. Is there anything over here? This is worth checking out. Oh, I think I've done it. I think I made it. Yep, I made it. Almost got lost a few times, but I made it. Yep, there, there we go. We made it to the Lost Woods. And now we're here, Korok Forest. And, oh, there it is, the Master Sword! Let's get it. Okay, short cutscene right there. <sighs> Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm? Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, 
It was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of legal state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. <laughs> so yeah, if you try to take the Master Sword but you don't have enough health, you will die. That's why I said make sure you have at least 12 hearts. But I think if you ch do, try to do it when, the first time when you don't have enough hearts, I think then he'll stop you, but the second time, you'll die. So let's give it a shot. So your health is going to go down no matter what. Apparently, I don't have enough hearts. So, yep. He'll stop you. If you don't have enough health. So, I guess you need 13 hearts. So, I guess then we'll go for the next Divine Beast. Or, my Shrine Sensor's going off here. So, I'm going to activate the Shrine, and I guess I'll give it an attempt. So, I can quickly return here. Okay, so... Maybe I'll start going for Death Mountain. Just need to make sure I know where a stable is. Woodland stable is over there. So, yep, here we go. I guess I'll start going for Death Mountain. By the way, I will say this about the Master Sword. Even if you have extended health, the Golden Hearts won't count. So don't go out of your way to get extended health. Is there a memory around here? Oh, he took him out. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, so thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you really like my content, you can subscribe, hit the bell to stay updated for new videos, and end card time.